We got a dangerous man off the street today. Uh, he is never going to see the light of day again. And, uh, you know, that's a good thing for not just our community, but that's a good thing for this country. Breaking tonight, a 10-day nationwide manhunt comes to a deadly end in Indiana. The former Alabama corrections officer accused of helping an inmate escape shoots herself as the pair is cornered by law enforcement. Anthony Pulse is live right now with the very latest. Anthony. Yes, Corey and Don, very dramatic day in this whole saga. We uh, learned just a short time ago uh, that Vicki White died following self-inflicted injuries right before she was taken into custody. Their escape, very well planned, very, uh, very calculated. Uh, these two had tens of thousands of dollars in cash. They had access to multiple vehicles. But in the end, it wasn't enough uh, to hide from the intense media spotlight uh, that this whole escape generated with law, which law enforcement officers credit with this capture. You guys have made this happen. You've kept this story out there. You've kept it on, on everybody's mind. After 10 days on the run, a tip from a citizen in Indianapolis led to the capture of 38-year-old murder suspect Casey White and the county correctional officer who helped him escape, 56-year-old Vicki White, no relation. I had every bit of trust in Vicki White. Uh, she has been an exemplary employee. And what in the world provoked her or prompted her to pull a stunt like this, I don't know. I don't know if we'll ever know. As authorities zeroed in on multiple vehicles used by the pair, they were spotted Sunday night at an Indianapolis hotel and then led U.S. Marshals on a vehicle chase south to the town of Evansville. Police say Casey White was behind the wheel and wrecked. He surrendered, and police say she shot herself before being taken into custody. We're going to be working with the Sheriff's Department to make sure that we can get him extradited and get him back here and, and hold him accountable. He will stay in handcuffs and shackles while he's in that cell. If he wants to sue me for violating his civil rights, so be it. He's not getting out of this jail again. I'll assure you that. Arrangements have already been made to have Casey White extradited from Indiana to Alabama. And prosecutors down in Alabama says that he will stand trial as scheduled for capital murder charges in June. We're live downtown. Anthony Ponce, Fox 32, Chicago.